Ben in Wyoming. You're on the Atheist Experience with Jamie and Jenna. How are you doing? Ben? Uh, doing very good. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. Thanks for calling. Well, I want to I want to convert Jenna Bell back to uh, the divine. Oh yeah, how are you going to do that? Well, uh, I want to. I'm sure you're aware of the Bible and a few of the teachings of the Bible, uh, mm-hmm. which I don't think is uh, legit. Actually, happened. It's allegorical and metaphorical, but in there it'll teach I you agree. how to how to. Oh, so you, you agree that those teachings are true? No, are I agree with the part where you say it's metaphorical. Sorry, I'm feeling well, a little okay, bit so sassy because everyone wants to call into my show and convert my guest host. Well, I, yeah. I, I seems like she was a recent believer, and she was right mm-hmm. there on the fence and just jumped over. So I figured that's an easy one to to sway over. You were probably pretty much concreted down with the, your your feet. But. Sure, I'm easy. Hit so, me. So this is there is a frequency. I know I call your show and put on hold, and I can hear laughter and and friendship and just just a, a good vibe. And that's basically where God. God resides in a higher vibration. And if you're in a lower vibration of, you know, the basically sins of the Bible, as in trying to go after money, it talks about that repeatedly, going after, you know, the sins of the world, the lust and, and all that, you get caught in a lower vibration and you can't communicate with God. And I believe you guys here, and i got to respect the hell out of your show, you know, Matt has said so many great things and you guys speak the truth, and that in itself, speaking your truth, is a higher frequency and a vibration where you can connect. And Thank you for complimenting you... the show. Like and subscribe. Sorry, didn't mean to, oh. to cut you off in your, your vibrations there. I do subscribe. I think your show is awesome. I was oh. an atheist recently, and I, I was, man, I just like, I I'm want to always to search. And in the Bible, it says you are supposed to be seeking. You seek the, the holy land. You seek the knowledge. And as you keep on going, you will be revealed to you it is. And it tells you exactly how to do it. Where? Exactly how to find it. Well, in, in, in Matthew, uh, maybe it's 633 or something like that, but, but in there it says you, you, you close the door and you seek within yourself. You're not supposed to be speaking with words. You go within a closed door and you go within yourself, not with all these words, because God knows exactly what you're doing. But you, you go with a higher vibration and you, you just speak there in peace and reverence. And you go and you seek God in your mind. He, he will reveal himself to you. And you just maintain the higher frequency. Okay. And when you go out okay. of the higher frequency, okay, so, you, you go so, out of the Can I God. see if I'm following you? Yeah, shoot us. Okay, so it seems like you, so you were an atheist and you've discovered that there's a difference in frequency and it seems like the, when there's a higher frequency and there's, there's love and compassion and energy, then that's where God is. But if it's, if it's yes. not there, then that's where God's not, right? And so since Absolutely. here, it sounds like it's a high frequency place, you think that God's here and I should find him, right? Absolutely. A- absolutely is there. Well, okay, so how do you know that? And having that? He's there. Absolutely. So if you're not here, how do you know that? Because he, he exists there in laughter. He exists there in, in, in that higher frequency. You guys but wh- are where are you getting that from? Where are you getting that from? I'm, you can just sense it. I mean, can't you sense it yourself? Well, I'm, you, you can have self-experiences where you feel in a better place, when you're in a better mood. Hey, when Ben, a, can I... Sorry, I, I don't mean to jump in here, and I know that sort of Jenna's on a track with this call, but I think what Jenna is sort of saying is why would you attribute what you are sensing to be something like a god? Right. Right, because I can well, cause tell when other people to, are happy, but that's not the same as Jesus. Well, it says the same thing. I mean, in the Bible, all the time, it talks about love. It talks about respect. It talks about, uh, you know, humility, which you guys have towards each other. When you guys are living those principles and those uh, principles of the Bible, which you guys are doing, I, you can only sense that. I could sense it over being held on hold on the phone, hearing the laughter you guys have over there and the respect you have for each other, just the way you, you, you respected your co-host today. I mean, you are basically living the principles of the Bible in in your your own realm. So, and so can I ask you a question? Go on. Yeah. So, if you can witness and see for yourself that people can have that higher frequency and that happiness and that love without a God, then God. why do you think that, that, that there? Well, no, I mean, there's no God here. I yeah, don't. Of course, there is. 
How do you know that though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, be, hold on. So, so you say because you hear laughter and because you hear people talking and getting along that that means there's a god. But I'm just, I just don't understand. I sincerely don't understand where you're getting the god from. The Bible says God is love. God is love. God is that, and you guys live in that. Wait. So hold on. So are you are you defining God as love? Yes, absolutely. So you believe in love? Absolutely. Does this love have rules? Well, when you go out of love, when you have hate, when you have uh, selfishness, when, when, you, when you're looking at an individual and you think it's love and you're being selfish or you're, you know, being judgmental when you're, you know. So does this love have rules? Love, like, does it have love, rules like you have to go to church on Sunday or you have to no, get married in a certain not, way or you can't do this? Or, like, does it have any rules? It says right there in the Bible, you seek God within yourself. You so you define your God as love, silent. though, and I'm asking if your God has any rules. Of course he has rules. If you want to communicate with God, you need not to have selfishness. You need to follow the rules of God. God talks about exactly that. When you want Where, to live in that Hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down, slow down, hold on. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to keep up. I'm not trying to stop you. I'm just trying to keep up with you. So, so I'm still on the God thing and the definition of God is love. So, yeah. so, so I can agree, let's say God is love, okay? I, I believe in love, so I, I believe in that God, okay? Does that God have any rules for me that I have to do something or I'm not allowed to do something? Yeah, well, when, you, when you want to go away from the love and be like jealous, say you have, you have love towards an individual and you're being jealous of an individual probably talking to the opposite sex and flirting with somebody, that is jealousy, and that is not the frequency of God. Wait, you talking to the denied. opposite sex is jealousy? Well, I, you know what I'm saying. I, I'm saying if you have jealous towards your partner who you have that love for, and you feel jealousy for whatever their person might be doing, that is not that frequency. That You, you are diminishing yourself from that frequency so here, of God. Ho- hold on, Ben. I'm really confused. Yeah, so, so hold on, Ben, because I think I'm going to try and insert myself and redirect here. Um, so what Jenna is trying to ask, or at least the, the thing that I think she's getting at that I also want to get at is, what does your God do? Because right? I understand if God is love, then when you have negative emotions, that's not what you're doing. But does your God perform miracles or interact with the Absolutely. world or have a heaven and yeah. hell? Well, because I can yeah. see how love performs miracles. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. in, in the colloquial like if, sense of miracle. Like if, so I'm trying to go with your definition of God mm-hmm. equals love. Yeah. Do we have to worship it? No. I mean, it, it's just there. It's a frequency. God is in the present. It is, you, you, it, you, you decide every second whether to be in that frequency or not. If I decided to be jealous, if I, you come out of that frequency of being with God. And that's where God exists, is in that frequency. He's in this ether and us communicating repeatedly with God. And if you decide so, to have a lower vibration, you come out of that frequency of God. You so, need to stay, which re, that's re, where it works at. So real, real quick, Ben, is God also a being or a person with thoughts? I have no clue. So oh. when, you, when you're talking about speaking to God, do you have an idea that God understands the words that are coming out of your mouth? Oh, absolutely. I mean, and the only way to really oh, okay. communicate... So, okay, so there is a receive. mind. Wait, Sorry. so this messes with yeah. our definition of God that yeah. we're working with. Keep, remember, Ben, we're coming to this fresh, right? We don't... We we sincerely, unless Jenna's a, a super genius, <laughs> I, I don't fully grasp what your concept of God is. Is so okay. the, the general yeah. concepts like right? Oh, if you feel jealousy is bad, right? We get the excuse me, here negative emotion the way stuff you and communicate, and you hear God. This is how you hear Him. If you stay in that higher frequency and the higher vibration, which your show definitely does, it's not like you, you go in and out. And you have to worship the Bible and show up to a religion, which I don't think religion is any demonstration of God. I, I think if you stay at the higher frequency and you maintain yourself at the higher frequency, you have certain things that appear to you and come to you in the form of, of miracles like synchronicities. Or So why are you uh, defining God as love then? Because that's what the Bible says. The Bible says Wait, wait, wait. God so, but love. you're talking about frequencies and things that are not in the Bible. 
Of course that it's in the Bible. It says in there you close the, you you go in there and you go so, you close the door but, and you you close your mind and you go in silence and you frequent and you talk to God. So that's ben, where it is. Real, the real, ben, real quick, that's I don't think that's exactly what Jenna was asking. I don't know if you want to try and rephrase the question or repeat it, but uh, what was she asking? I don't actually remember what I asked. <laughs> I mean, you talk so, about frequency, so that's exactly I, so what God the, is. When, you, when you're talking about, of course it's in the Bible, do you mean that higher and lower frequencies described yeah. as something like higher and lower frequencies are in the do Bible? Do you agree there's a frequency? Would you guys all agree that there's a frequency of love and no. a frequency of hate? And, and, and you, you can I don't know what that means. So, so, so your, your statement you is you either... Hold on. Okay. Sorry, Ben, what's up? You don't think you feel... When there's a mood, when someone's upset, you can sense it. You, you don't feel like there's a sense and you can feel that, well, a, a vibration between you guys. Would you like me to answer? Yeah. So I, I think that I can sense if somebody is upset. I think that I can oh, yeah. sense when I'm upset. I think that I experience emotions, and those can be caused by things, including myself, including things outside of myself. There, there are things that I experience like love, like hate, like jealousy. Oh there, there are all kinds oh of things that I experience. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay. Yes. So and that's God. Why, why, why do you think that? Because I think of it as I experience emotions. Well, so I, I wish, wish your callers can all try to maintain a high frequency, including yourselves, which I guarantee you guys do. And you'll see there's, there's synchroni synchronicities, and that's God. So where things just happen. Where so, so real quick, because now I now I need to insert myself, because it kind of sounds like you're skipping over the part where you answered Jenna's question entirely. Okay. I just I I mean you know, Je Jenna's killing it. So I guess I'm just sort of saying like, hey, uh, <laughs> re you know, referee, let's stay in the same. Lanes. Why why do you say that these emotions that I'm experiencing equal a God? Well, you are sensing. It, it, it proves there's a higher power when you can sense someone's emotions. I mean, the how, atheist how, how does it prove just, that? Well, because there's just a frequency out there of you can feel things, you, you can sense things, you can. So there is God out there, and there is a way to tie it into. And like I was trying to tell you before, the way you can interpret that there is such thing as a God and a higher power is when you maintain that higher frequency of love and those higher vibrations, so certain amazing I, things occur in our life. Ben, I, sorry, let, let me just jump in here because I think one of the things that's getting in the way of, I think, not just myself and Jenna, but the audience in general having a clear picture of what you think is you use the words frequency and vibration in ways that I've only heard sort of people that believe in various forms of spiritualism and that place a value on things like um, a sacred geometry use words like uh, vibration and frequency. When you say vibration, what specifically do you mean? Like what, what, what does this word mean when you use it? That is a pretty broad term and I want to encompass almost okay. all of it if possible. But I mean, it, it's, you know, well, okay. So this I'm concept, let, let, let me just, this isn't, this isn't trying to be specific, but it, it's, this is kind of where I'm getting at. And, uh, that is the sun well, and we know, and just bear with me, just get my thought out, thought out. So okay. you, we know we get vitamin D from the sun, uh, right? Uh, okay. So, so right. hold on, Ben, right. cause, cause we, we, so I get that, you know, it can be difficult even for, for words where we have a general understanding, it can be sort of difficult particularly to provide a specific example. If you ask me for a specific example of a specific definition of democracy, it would take uh, me a I'm second. Not, I'm giving you one of the sun that. right now. Well, yeah, I'm, so you're, you're giving an example of the sun and the, well, the, the, to this describe. Well, about the, 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 the sun. So the, so sun the thing I'm asking off, for examples of, real quick, Ben, because I want to make sure we're not talking past okay. each other, is examples that will let us know how you're using the word frequency. Because for me, frequency is a number of occurrences in a specific time period. Absolutely. So like a frequency exactly. of two per second. Yes. I mean, you got microwave frequency. You got all these different types of frequency. You have sound wave frequency, light well, wave frequency. Right. Those so we're, are all we're the saying is let's define our terms in a solid way so that we can actually be on the same page when we're using them. All I'm saying is along with all the other frequencies that we've all been told in our 
uh, educational system with all these frequencies, microwaves, light, everything. There is also the frequency of God. And Why do you say God, that? Because I, I'm telling you, when you live in a higher frequency, certain things manifest that are beautiful. Wait, like, so do I you have to have, do you have to experience this higher frequency in order to believe in it? No. Okay. Do, is there any requirement for anyone to believe in it? No. Okay. But if you live in a higher frequency, you man, great things manifest to you. When you live in a lower frequency, bad things manifest to you, just like it says in the Bible. So all I'm just you're just making all these claims, and I'm just wondering where you're getting this from. Well, I'm, I'm, like you're saying things like if you if you operate in a higher frequency. Well, first of all, I don't know how you can tell if anybody's operating in a high or low frequency before you even get to then you know this. Like, let's stop there before we go on to what you know when you're on a high frequency. Let's start with how do we know what frequency is? I'll tell you right here. Okay. The higher frequencies are places of love, respect, humility, you know, having temperance, not overindulging, all the... So and happy not places in, in the other sense of like gluttony, lust, so being sloth, let me, having anger. Let me Those let me okay. So ones. so we we get the we get the the general concept it's, of what you're saying. The so the, the, the so hold on. So the, the way that you're using the word frequency, um, it in no way describes you know like generic uses of the word frequency, right? So when you when you say frequency is when you're in higher places, like et cetera. So it means when you are living well or living in a good you know. Weltanschauung or like the like view happy. of the world when you're happy, when you're experiencing, right. you know, good vibes in the colloquial sense of vibes, meaning like feelings. Absolutely. Okay. And great things will happen right there. And I think you guys what, have so, good vibes. You guys have great lives. And that's because you don't 50K. live the life of desire. You, you don't know my life. But laziness. So, so real quick, because um, what it sounds like you're saying, if I sort of translate the, the words that you're using, and I don't mean to cut across the... The, where you were going, Jenna, but it sounds like what you're saying, given the words you were using, that if you're talking about being in a, at, a, at a level of higher frequency, good things will happen and, and you'll have good vibes, sounds like if you live positively and live well, mm. you will have a good yeah. life. Right? Is that the case? Yeah. But so what does that have to do with a God, though? It just demonstrates to me the people, who, and I think this is across the board, the people who live in, in the sins and the lower frequencies, 100% will have a terrible life and will be down and it will not have success, regardless of who you are. If you are in those frequencies, your life will be destructive and you will have, you have, you'll be living in hell, which basically is, is our life. You live, so, and that's what it is. That's what the Bible talks. You will live in hell. So, but if you live in the higher frequencies, you will be living in heaven. You will be living in God's life. So I'm living regardless in heaven even though I don't believe in a God? Of course. So then no, why believe in a God? Frequency. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. The Bible but wait, says exactly but if I don't that. believe in a God and I can still live in heaven, then why should I believe in a God? I'm not saying you have to believe in a God. Then I'm why are you saying, calling the show? That just, that just represents... Trying to deconvert me. I'm showing you a representation and a specific example, 100% foolproof. To get me to believe in into a God, frequency. correct? You live... You live in a higher vibration. Hey, so, and right. Right. do you want me exactly to believe in a God? Like I want you to live your life, and however you want to live. That's it. what well, I'm that's doing. All I, that's all yeah. I want you. So, so Ben, sorry. Now I'm confused because you called in and you said I want to. Convert. I'm not sure. You about convert to yeah. Jenna, or you yeah, want to in the divine that there is a God. So I, I wanted to just to, why? To just to be clear. So, example, so, way so now we now we now we sort of have two questions, or at least I I have a second question after the, the obvious one. So, um, well, here we'll, we'll skip to this one. Do you you called in with this with the intention of converting Jenna? Did you think about the way of presenting your beliefs uh, so that they would be persuasive? I, I think I did that. I proved that there's okay. a thing in the divine. So I, I don't converted. think that you did. I mean, I, I, I she, know that you didn't. That you live in a higher frequency, that, that you will have good things happen to I you. I agree That's that I'm point. living. Yeah. And I'll go further. I think she's killing it, but she doesn't believe in a God. So when you use the word convert, did you mean uh, persuade Jenna yeah, to believe divine. that there is a divine? I still don't believe it. Yeah. So... Would you agree with me that anyone lives in the lower frequencies of those seven sins that your life will be hell? No. No. Can you show me someone who lives in those seven sins so, whose life 
is out of hell, I don't think there's an individual that exists. That right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right so, here. So. Right here. Who, you? Yes, me. Me. You live in the seven cents? Yes. Of gluttony, you overeat, yes. you indulge yourself, you live in desire of yes. other people. And you're yes, 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 and, yes, and yes, yes. I sin every fucking day. I mean, uh, uh, to a point of just gluttony? Yes. Yes. How many times do I have okay. to say it? Yes. And, and, and you still have... You Happiness still, still and like love and compassion, and, and I love living without time. God. But I'm just saying, you feel like you're out of friendship and love nope. and all that? I'm actually happier than I've ever been in my life. Actually, I'm happier than I ever believed I possibly could be. That's awesome. Thank you. That is, so why that should I believe in a God if I can be this happy without it? Uh, that's a good, I, I, you got me stumped because uh, I, I thought I, I could prove you wrong and I stand corrected. Hey, thank you for being honest. Yeah. You you have you are the best caller in the show so far at least. Yeah. Um, uh, that's nice to be the first one. Yeah. yeah. So you, hey, so cool. Thank you so much for calling. Um, I'm still yeah. not converted, um, but call again. Um, maybe we can try again. Yeah. That and if you All use right. Reddit, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth that can go on here. Um, and right. we're also on Facebook. Nice talking to you, Ben. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for calling, Ben. Bye. That was.